Okay, so I'm doing a lot of like revisiting or, you know, like addendums to uh, previous videos, but I made that video about HDMI sucking cock and oh boy, does it ever suck cock. Uh, somebody in the comments mentioned high-end audio setups and I basically just, you know, brushed them off. He said, ah, this doesn't work. I mean, and, and it doesn't, but, but, but just because I think it's kind of interesting and people might find it, uh, you know, interesting. And, you know, if you ever, you know, win the lottery or come into a lot of money and, and wanted to have an amazing setup, you know, maybe it's something to, you know, look into. Um, but, but basically it is ultimately a dog shit solution. It's just an interesting dog shit solution. So, um, there's this Dante like networking protocol and long story short, it's basically just audio over IP. So um, you pretty much just send you know, digital audio over the network. Uh, and it, it, it's actually very, I mean, it's pretty much the same as this, you know, AES uh, 67, that, um, that, that, that uh, you know, audio, uh, you know, IP standard. But, but, but here's the bottom line with it, though. I mean, if you actually go through all of the hoops, if you if you push in the ball gag, if you bend over and smile, you could have the best setup in the world for certain limited scenarios. It sucks ass as a general purpose solution, but but it is very interesting. And I'm going to go through everything that's involved here. So, so basically, um, if you have a Dante interface, uh, you, you can you can effectively just uh, you know, spew out up to, uh, you know, 128 channels, not kidding, 128 channels worth of fucking audio. Um, and, and so, you know, it's used by, you know, bands at concerts and shit like that, where they just want to just have, you know, consolidated just shitloads of, uh, of speakers, um, you know, without having a bunch of, you know, XLR you know, cables uh, you know, all over the place. But, um, Basically, uh, this is this this would be the setup that you'd have to do to make this work. And I'm going to talk about how awesome it is, and then I'm going to talk about how fucking lame it is. So, so here's an example of um, uh, you know a Dante uh, interface to do you know audio over uh, the network. So this is a one thousand six hundred dollar USD uh, you know PCI Express card. Now. For the lowest possible latency, you actually want to put this cocksucker into uh, a 16x PCI Express port. That's how fucking crazy it is. And, and what's crazy about this shit is you can actually get end-to-end -end audio latency of like three milliseconds, which is fucking nuts. Um, I, I mean, I mean, basically, it, like you know, as far as your computer audio goes, it, it's going to be the, the best possible audio that you can get. Like there, there isn't anything better that you can get than this. Um, and, and so. But, but, but the thing about it is you have to remember, when you do a setup like this, you know, you are putting together all the fucking pieces. It isn't just like an AVR or a tuner or whatever where everything is integrated. Like, you have to actually, you know, uh, plug in all the components necessary to make this happen. Because, because like I said, like, this isn't including the DAC. It's not including the amplifier. It's not including anything. So, so basically, like, what's going to happen is um, you're going to have to get, you know, a DAC, an amplifier, um, and, and there's a company called uh, Digimedia, for example, that makes, um, you know, a Dante, uh, you know, interface, a DAC that, that effectively allows you to, um, you know, just, you know, plug, um, I mean, essentially make speakers available over a network. Um, and, and so, and, and, and basically, like, what happens is when you have all this set up, there's some Dante controller software that, that, that effectively just says, okay, um, you know, like I have this Dante interface and say it gives me 16 channels, for example, or say it gives me 32 channels, whatever it happens to be. Basically, when you connect all of those other speakers and everything onto your, you know, um, you know, your closed Dante network, they show up in the list and then you can just arbitrarily assign shit. So you can just say like, okay, I want this speaker to be uh, channel one and this speaker to be channel two and this speaker to be channel three and the subwoofer to be channel four or like, or like whatever the fuck it happens to be. You can do it however you want. Um, and, and actually, I drew up just a little diagram here, um, just, just illustrating basically like, you know, this, this, you know, this is my beautiful MS Paint diagram of how this would work. So basically... You plug your PCI Express Dante interface into your computer, into a PCI Express 16X port, and then you plug in the Ethernet to a gigabit switch, 
and this and this and this is basically just you know closed you know network. Uh, uh, you know, you're not going to connect this to any you know external internet shit. This is all. Th this network is essentially only going to consist of Dante, uh, you know, interface uh, devices. Okay, so 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 you have your uh, you know Dante card connected to your switch, and then you connect your DAX, your Dante, uh, you know, capable DAX to the switch as well, and then once you have those connected. You can uh, connect, um, you know, like with uh, you know XLR or something. You can, or you know RCA, depending on you know like the DAC you use, whatever it happens to be. You can connect those to an amplifier, and then you, and then finally you can go from your amplifier to uh, you know some nice speakers, and um, and then and then you know like at that point you know basically uh, you know the end result is that. You know that's uh, you know, that's that's where it all leads, man. Th this is this is the audio audio nirvana um, you know diagram. Uh, but but the thing is though, you just have to factor in though how ridiculous this shit is. It's like we got to look at the cost of this shit, right? So basically, we're talking about um, you know sixteen hundred dollar Dante card. Um, we're talking about, you know, like probably in the few hundred dollar range, uh, you know, gigabit switch because 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 basically you're going to need at least eight uh, Dante DAX to plug into this fucking crap. So 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 you're going to need a switch that actually has a ton of Ethernet ports. And, and then if you're going to do like something crazy, like a 16 channel plus setup, you, you're going to have to get some you know, crazy amplifier setup where you're going to have to be able to you know, essentially amplify 16 speakers. Um, you, you know, so, so, so basically the DAX will end up costing you $2,000. The amps, you know, will end up probably costing you another four to $5,000. And then if you actually get nice speakers for that many fucking channels, 16 channels, you're probably talking about like $8,000 worth of fucking speakers and all that for the fucking, you know, Mickey boner. I mean, it, it's, it's pretty fucking crazy, but, but see, here's the, and, and, and so here's the kicker, right? So you would just think, oh man, this is fucking awesome. This is like the best fucking audio in the world. I get three millisecond end to end latency, you know, with, with PC audio. I have no phantom monitor that I get with HDMI. It's just, this is fucking perfect, right? Fucking, no, 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 it sucks. It sucks fucking cock. It sucks this cock right here, man. And, and you know why? Because this shit is only really made for professionals, right? And the people making them are fucking scumbags. So like, for example, this and basically every other good low latency, uh, you know, Dante, uh, you know, PCI Express interface or, or, or whatever, or even the software solutions, because there's also like a Dante virtual uh, sound uh, device that, that, that essentially is a software version of this that just uses your CPU to do it and your, and your computer's network uh, card to do it instead of this thing. But, um, but the problem is, is these cocksuckers only write ASIO audio drivers. None of them fucking write Windows display model fucking drivers. And so, so what does that mean? Like, like why, why are we living in hell? Why is everything fucked? Well, it basically means that these things won't work with X-Audio. They won't work with direct sound. They won't work with, uh, you know, Windows audio session API. They won't work with uh, Windows, you know, kernel streaming API. They won't work with any of the standard, like, Windows or, or Linux um, uh, you know, audio driver endpoints. So, so basically, like you couldn't get sound out of a web browser. You couldn't get sound out of ninety nine percent of all video games ever made. So it's fucking trash. But, but, but here's the thing, though. Here's like this little glimmer, this little glimmer of light, and why this whole thing is kind of fascinating in a perverse way, is that port audio, port fucking audio, does actually support ASIO, meaning that because Mame supports port audio. This shit is actually fucking possible, man. Like, like, like you, you theoretically could actually do this shit with MAME um, and, and basically any emulator that actually supported ASIO. And actually, even for stuff like, um, you know, like FUBAR, the, the audio player, FUBAR actually has an ASIO plugin. So, so you could get incredibly high quality music playback out of a setup like this too. Um, and, and, and like I said, like for those limited scenarios, this is the best thing in the world. And I'm telling you, it's like, I mean, if, if you created a setup like this, anybody who fucking experienced it would never go permanently soft 
they, 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 there, there, were, there, were, there would always be this at least the echo of a fucking chubby from when they experience that shit. Because I'm telling you, like, I mean, I haven't experienced this personally, but I just fucking know that, that if I ran the surround sound build of fucking MAME with ASIO on a setup like this and played Samurai Showdown 2, it would fucking never completely go soft. I just fucking guarantee you. And, and, and so, so that is the only reason that this is cool. But like I said, it's ultimately just not practical because the, the, the driver thing fucking kills it, you know? It's like, it's just ridiculous. I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to spend 15 fucking thousand dollars on a goddamn audio setup so I don't have a phantom monitor. And at the same time, I can't even listen to myself bitching about it on YouTube because I can't get sound out of a fucking web browser. It's a joke. It's a fucking joke. So even though this is tantalizing and, 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 and actually kind of cool and interesting, it just ultimately is another fucking dead end. And yet another reason that audio on the PC fucking sucks the cock that we're looking at right now. It's fucking worthless. But it is. I, I, like I said, it's just... I mean, I mean really, and, and the funny thing is, I actually contacted... Um, you know, the, the Dante dudes and, uh, and, and focus, right? And I, and I told him, I said, I said, you know what? You guys are fucking blowing it. If you, if you cocksuckers would just write some, you know, you know, you know, you know WDM windows display model fucking drivers for your goddamn Dante interfaces, there are psychopaths like me who might actually just fucking just say, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to do it. Because, because cause it would be truly fucking transcendent, you know, to have, like, a setup like this. It would be truly fucking... I mean, because I'm just saying... So, and this is the last thing I want to show you just on this, just so we can just imagine, you know, like, the glory of this. With a 16-channel audio setup, you theoretically have access to all these fucking speakers. Meaning that in a theoretical, you know, uh, ASIO version of uh, Final Fight, you could literally hear the fucking Andors falling from your goddamn ceiling. And that's pretty fucking sexy, man. That, like, like, like I said, it's so fucking tantalizing, despite all, all, all the problems, I'm still fucking side-eyeing this shit, you know? It, it's, it's still tantalizing for that fucking reason. But, but ultimately, it's just, it's just dumb, you know? It's just, it's ridiculous. Like, you shouldn't have to go to these absurd fucking links, all this bullshit, just to have audio that isn't dog shit without a fucking phantom monitor. It's just ridiculous. It's like, like somebody... Somebody, some, uh, somebody who sees this fucking video, who actually is in the electronics industry, fucking save us, man. This is fucking bullshit. I'm sick of fucking audio sucking on the PC. God fucking damn it.